An encoder converts motion to an electrical signal that can be read by a control device to determine position, speed, or direction. One of the most common types of encoders is an optical rotary encoder, which uses a sensor to detect whether light passes through a slit in a wheel to measure motion. In this episode of Radwell's How It Works series, we're going to explore how an optical rotary encoder works. First, let's review the main components of an optical rotary encoder. There are two ways of measuring motion in a rotary encoder, incremental and absolute. Both consist of one or more LEDs, photo sensors, and a disc called a code wheel. An incremental encoder will have one row of slits in the code wheel, while an absolute encoder will have multiple rows. A fixed slit may be positioned behind the code wheel to allow the encoder to determine the direction of the rotation, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Now that we've reviewed the main components of an optical rotary encoder, let's talk about how it works. The code wheel is attached to a shaft that rotates with the motor. The LED lights travel through the slits in the code wheel to the photosensors. The photosensors detect the light pulse and convert it into an electrical signal to output to a control device. There are several advantages to using optical encoders, including higher resolution, higher accuracy, more immunity to electrical noise interference, and they are not affected by surrounding magnetic fields, allowing them to be used with large diameter motors. If you like this information on optical rotary encoders, like this video and subscribe to our channel for more information on industrial products and processes. Also, be sure to check out our What Is video to learn more about encoders. For information about Radwell, visit us on the web at radwell.com or connect with us on social media. Thanks for watching.